Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. EA's out here setting records with their content on FC24 Ultimate Team. We had a big time SBC yesterday that was leaked. We knew it was coming, but I don't think we've ever had that type of SBC this early into the game cycle. We're only 11 days into the game, and we already have an icon player SBC that we can potentially craft right now. It is absolutely insane. So with that, there's a lot of market movements that we have to discuss today. I want to talk about fodder. I want to talk about meta cards, how we can even make coins today. Today's kind of the first official weekend league rewards release day, right? Of course, rewards are released throughout the weekend, but a lot of people still only get them when the competition ends on Monday mornings, and that usually makes the market rise. So we're going to talk about some coin making methods for today's market on the video as well. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and of course subscribe if you're new. I want to say as well, just really quickly before we get into things, thank you guys for all the support for the start of FC24. I mean, every single day we're dropping these videos and you guys keep tuning in each and every day and I really appreciate it. So I want to put that out there. I really wanted to stream yesterday, but it was a really, really busy weekend uh, for the misses and I, so I was not able to do so because it wouldn't be fun if I'm, you know, not having the best time and you're not having the best time. Not. Nah. We're going to be back at it to him on Monday, and we'll be firing on all cylinders. So that's just kind of an update for me why I wasn't streaming as much over the weekend. But let's get into these records that EA is breaking. Guys, like I said, we're 11 days into this game, and we have our first Icon Player SBC. I'm not complaining. I'm just like, this is the way we're going, EA. We're making this content drop earlier and earlier every single year. And the packs in the store, I think that's a record too for the pack that we had yesterday. That's the biggest, craziest store pack we've ever had in this game that early on. But it all starts with Beckham, right? We had the leak. We knew this SBC was coming. And Sunday's our usual icon SBC days. We talked about it happening in yesterday's video, potentially uh, yesterday. And it did drop. And it's 10 squads, which seems very daunting. And I think that's putting people away from this SBC straight off the bat. Now, the price isn't that bad, guys. I mean, if you look at it this way, 394,000 coins, which really means you're going to be able to get this SBC done for probably 200k with untradeables, 83 times 10s in the season, all those packs that are in there. We got a cup, right? There's some fodder packs that we get from that, and there's a big thing coming out this Thursday. If you played FIFA 23 and did those preseason rewards, we're going to mention those a little bit later in the video. Those are coming out as well. And those are going to be packs with fodder in them that you could use to craft this Beckham. Now, it's not easy to do because, again, 88 rated squad. Like, for me, I'm thinking, man, I can barely do an 85 or an 86 rated squad straight from my club right now. But I think a decent amount of people are doing this SBC, guys, because technically on the market before the whole leaks for this card happened, he was a 490, 500,000 coin card before this big drop off happened. And his price yesterday actually went down further after the SBC came out he was like 380 he's down about 340,000 coins that tells me that there are a decent amount of people doing this SBC also because of the way fodder moved as well I think people are doing this one not everybody I don't think this SBC is for everybody but if you look at the description of it which I don't know why we can't see the SBC descriptions in the game like if I go in an SBC it like shows for a half second and then it goes away. I wish we could see that. I like the little write-ups that they put on these. We have to go to Footbin for it. Um, it says build towards. That's the key words here, right? EA is dropping this SBC. It is out for 60 more days. Build towards earning the icon version of David Beckham. And I'm going to be honest, guys. This card, of course, as you may have looked at, and probably you feel this way, doesn't look the most meta. He's got great play styles, though. And with the icon links that they have this year, I really don't think this is a terrible SBC to do right now if you have a lot of coins and a lot of fodder or if david beckham is somebody that you are a big fan of used to watch him play you're a fan of him now probably one of the most i mean famous i mean if that's a word you could say he's just famous outside of football as well that's a i mean a great choice for ea to drop this sbc as we talked about previously because of the new netflix um documentary series that came out and everything so it's an sbc you could chip away at and i think that's why EA dropped it so early and really broke records by doing this because we've never had an icon player SBC this early in the game. And to be completely honest, he probably plays pretty different in game. There's a five match loan as well. If you want to go ahead and try him out for just, I think, a couple gold cards or a squad of gold cards. That's nice, too. I like when they get the loan out. So you can go and give the card a shot for not having to spend 400,000 coins. But that was the big SBC yesterday. Now, let's talk about fodder a little bit because I sold some... 
of those cards that I bought yesterday. And guys, what happened with fodder was it went up a little bit. Really, it just kind of had a spike and then it came back down specifically on the middle to low tier, right? Yesterday, we were looking at 85s or the 3.5K range. They're still there. But cards like the 89s, these were well above 20,000 coins for most of the day yesterday. It all started after Squad Battle Rewards. These cards started rising, 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 all the way up to about 22K, I think, at the content drop when the SBC came out with the first 88 rated squad requirement of the year inside of this. That really made these 89s and 90s. I think if we actually take a look at like the uh, Harry Kane card as well, I think Harry Kane and Benzema and some of those 90s had a pretty nice price spike themselves yesterday it was that big time squad yeah 33k almost 32 33k probably at the peak here for harry kane he's now back down to 30,000 coins that was kind of how fodder moved yesterday for the most part you had cards that spiked up and this is a common trend last year on sbc days where we had fodder that would spike up and it would actually hit its peak when the, the day the SBC was dropped, right? And it's a whole new year with so many more players in packs, which this was really kind of like a first test run. Although fodder is very, very cheap and still, I think still investable on the top tier. If you get on the bids, maybe today with the rewards and stuff like that, I still think 30K or 31K for like a, a 90 rated card, considering how high these will probably go by the time we reach the end of this month or maybe even into like um november and stuff like 30k i'm gonna try to bid like you know 20 28 000 here in this k and see if we win it probably won't but you know like i think those are cards if you're still looking to invest in fodder they have the biggest potential rise because those are the cards people are going to have to buy to get SBCs done, regardless of the fact. Um, fodder, there's so many more players in the game this year, right? We looked at that before the game came out. There's so many more players that are fodder ratings, 84s, all the way up to 90s. And we have a lot to learn. This is our first big SBC with the fluctuations. But I feel like what we saw yesterday with the quick rises and card prices spiking up after the SBC was released and then kind of coming back down, I think is going to be a trend we're going to see a lot this year. So if you invested in fodder and bought these 88s like under 13K, which a lot of them were, they went up to about 14, 5 to about 15,000 coins. Not a crazy big rise. If you're still holding, I think that's perfectly fine. I listed a couple of these up for lazies because some of the cards, this is really good to make note of as well. Bruno Fernandez was one that went up a little bit higher than the others, right? Guro Riten uh, went up a little bit as well as an 88 rated card. Oblock did pretty good. Kimmich did pretty good. So, those are kind of things I would keep note of and just use this as a learning experience because guys, fodder still in the grand scheme of things is kind of low. And if you bought cards and you're still holding on, that's completely fine. I'm still holding on to a lot of other fodder. I'm planning to buy more over this next week because of the SBCs that I think are coming and just the time of the year that is upcoming with a lot more SBCs probably going to be released. So just keep note of these price movements, right? We had a spike after content and then it kind of came back down. I mean, fodder could rise back up even a little bit more today as we have more people getting weekend league rewards. That could just mean more people are going out to do these SBCs. And I mean, shoot, if you see 87s at like 10,000 or below 10K again, that's a pretty solid price. So that's just kind of what I learned from the fodder market. And we're going to keep watching that day in and day out in this game because that's going to be, again, a really, really great place to make coins. Now, let's move on to other content that we had yesterday really quickly. We had the cup, guys. We called this one, bro. It just seemed like it was going to happen this week. And I like it for the 1,000 XP that you get inside of this. If you don't want to try to get all the way through it and win 10 games, which would be a bit of a grind, and make sure you at least win two. It's four games a day, I believe, that you can play. And you do have to have a Road to the Knockouts player in the side, which is exactly what was expected, with maximum one loan. So you can use a loan RTTK from those store packs if you have that. Again, that was the whole reason I thought that with all those store pack codes that we saw last week, I knew that there was going to be a cup based off of so many of those containing RTTK loans. And if they're giving out a lot of loans, they're going to give us a place to use them. And that cup is the place. So that's grindable. I like that it gives you uh, opportunities, another place to play the game during the week, except, for, um, well, in addition to rivals and foot champs. Now, in the story yesterday, I think EA broke a record too, guys. I mean, 285,000 coins equals the most expensive pack we've had in the store. But 80 rare gold players this early on in the game is crazy, man. I mean, doubles, uh, 86 doubles. So it's basically a double walkout guaranteed animation, which is kind of sick if you think about it. But 3K FP is a lot. And of course, with the coins, it is not worth it to 
to open with coins at this early, early stage of the game by any stretch of the imagination. 21% chance of a UCL Road of the Knockouts player. 24% chance of what? A Europa League Road of the Knockouts. That's crazy, man. Like, that is a really, really high pack percentage there. So only send that probably with FIFA points or FC points if you're spending on the game. But that is uh, probably a record, too, for the craziest store pack that we have had. I mean, 11 days in this game, they've been already setting records for like all the crazy store packs that we've had so far, which definitely does not help out the market. Now, a couple of the cards they did drop yesterday. The mini release was smaller than expected. We're missing a couple cards from the leaks that we had earlier on. Now, we did get Gutsa, we got Matic, and we got Hinkape. And both of those cards, uh, Hinkape and Gutsa specifically, look really, really good. gutsa has got some really nice play styles. Uh, make sure you check out that card. These guys are going to be pretty rare as well. And as we'll talk about uh, in relation to the market today, Hinkape, I think, was like under 50k. Now he's rising back up a little bit. Left-footed, medium-high. He's not super high-rated, but I think Leverkusen playing insane right now in real life. 85 short pass and 81 long pass. Nah, this guy looks cracked. All right. He's got the good play styles as well. Nothing in the plus category there, but that's a really good card. One of the best center backs in the Bundesliga, and he's going to be more rare than the other Road of the Knockouts cards because he's from the mini release. But we didn't get Bacha, right? And that was one thing that we were looking to see on this game because of the leaks, right? I mean, she was in the trailer that EA released. I mean, remember that? We watched that video of like Road of the Knockouts where they showed the Holland card and the Reina card back last week. And Bacha was in the trailer. She was in the leaks as well. And we've got nothing for her card right now. So I would say be very careful with this gold Bacha. Uh, if she's actually coming as an SBC, I would be a little bit worried about some other French left backs in this game, maybe Teo, maybe Ferlin Mendy a little bit, depending on how that card would look. Uh, Botch's card could look cracked. If she is coming as an SBC, I don't know. I would just say be careful because she was leaked by like foot scoreboard and then initial list of players. But now we have no idea where that card is. So that's kind of everything that happened yesterday on this game. Let's cover the market a little bit more from yesterday as well, because as we mentioned in yesterday's video, it was an amazing time once again to buy meta cards after squad battle rewards. Really good rise. Like, this is a nice rise, man. 77k on Griezmann all the way up 10,000 coins. Like, you're making really, really nice money there on a Griezmann card. Uh, Diaby went up yesterday. Varane, Sun. Let's see, who else looks like they're up in price? Well, Bellingham, of course, is out of pack, so he's really starting to rise now. And Kunku is 46,000 coins. What did he do? He went from 42 to 49. So some really good rises on your most top-tier meta cards. Also, Informs as well. I think did pretty good. And some of your Road to the Knockouts, which are cards that I'm specifically looking into today. I've already bought a couple of Joao Pedros. Um, and I'm really watching these cards today, especially with the cup being out there. Just guys, we're going to talk about it here in a second. But I think these cards could have a really similar movement to what they had yesterday. Lewandowski went from 408 to 440, then went down to 399 at content, then back up to 420. And now he's around 400k again. The cards that you see moving a lot on the market and fluctuating, like this Joao Pedro, yesterday was like 260. He goes to 275, which there's not really a lot of money in that in terms of a flip. But he goes to 260, and after content, he goes all the way to 290. These guys that move a lot in price, I think, especially as we get out of the weekend, the new promo cards in packs last year on FIFA 23, and we even saw it last week a little bit, are always really good flips heading into Monday, right? And that's what I want to talk about in relation to the market a little bit. And then we'll talk about today's content as well and what to expect. But for a Monday market rise, well, first place, why does it even rise? Why does the market go up on Monday as well? The market goes up on Mondays because that is when Foot Champs Rewards are paid out. And Foot Champs Rewards are technically paid out all weekend. But I think a lot of people still don't know or realize that Foot Champs Rewards uh, like at the end of the competition, a lot of rewards are given out to people because um, I think people don't realize that if you actually finish your 20 games, you will get your rewards instantly. And I think a lot of people just leave. The, they get to the rank they want to get or the rank they think they can get um, and then they stop and they don't play out all their games or gift wins in the end. And I think actually a lot of people still get their rewards on Monday mornings because they don't realize that. But that's the case. Uh, Foot Champs ends this morning on Monday and rewards are given out. And that means people get coins. They go out to the market and they buy cards. It's kind of the same situation that we saw, of course, with 
like squad battle rewards and we see sometimes on thursdays with rivals although more and more people throughout the year are probably going to be taking the untradeable rewards that's kind of the why the market moves on a monday and it just seems like into a monday as well especially with the foot champs being the best rewards you get in this game you see the most market movement as people are going out and, and using those coins that they got and uh, from packs and from the rewards themselves to go and upgrade their teams. So that's why the market moves. Mondays are one of my favorite days to trade because you usually do see a bit of a market rise. Now, what do you rise or what do you buy for the market rise? Well, it's kind of like mixing in the promo cards. Those are really a good look. I think the promo cards this week could do pretty good. Um, now, number one, they are they are supplied a lot. Like, you know, Modric, he's got a ton of supply. Acuna, Pepe, Di Maria, Barely even moved yesterday. Di Maria moved really good on Saturday, right? From Friday night, he went from 67 all the way to 77. But he really hasn't been below 58 or above 63 for the past day on this game. Could that change? Yeah, I mean, he's already almost 63,000 coins. He could go up to almost 70,000 coins. As again, a lot of coins are coming onto the market today with rewards. People going by. I would try to take a look at cards if you're going to buy something today. That's either a gold or a promo card that has a lot of movements like Sissoko moves a ton this card fluctuates a lot Acuna is already up like 5k Modric has so much demand Modric is like always top three or four in the most popular players in football like he's always up here and I think that's for good reason because that's an insane Modric card and a lot of people want to try him out in this game with the pace boost that he got and everything and it's, of course it's live but um you know that's kind of when I'm looking at cards to flip into a Monday market rise, I'm looking at the rarity, I'm looking at the new cards, and then if you can flip golds as well, look for cards like Griezmann that moved a lot that are maybe down a little bit. And as I'm looking through a few of these prices right now, I'm not seeing too many that are down a lot um, in terms of where their prices are versus where they were yesterday. Like, you know, Hyunmin Sun is 88,000 coins. Yesterday, before squad battles, he was 80K, went up to 89 and he's still 88k. I still think some of this stuff could rise up a bit on the market. Maybe Frimpong a little bit with the links to Hinkape, right? It's probably one of the links people would be looking to use with him. He went from 5.9 all the way to 7.5, and he's 7k flat right now. Maybe, maybe Frimpong goes up a little bit more because of the links if you get him for like 6.5 on bid today or something like that. But really, it looks like maybe in forums and the um impacts road of the knockouts team too would be a really good opportunity to flip today and again just focus on the cards that move a lot or that are rare these mini release cards are going to be a lot more rare than um the rest of the promo cards that are in game the number one thing i'll say to you is even if you're not focusing on mini release like if i'm, I'm looking at goods right now but like if i was interested in our I would just try to buy them with chemistry styles. If you're going to try to buy cards to flip, make sure your card just looks a little bit better than the others. I bought a couple of Gutses for like 17K. He's starting to rise right now. And I picked them up and I made sure to get them with chem styles because when you're trying to sell the card to other people that are buying, think about it, right? If you're building a team, you want to buy the Gutsa or buy whatever card it is that you're flipping with the chem style applied to it, right? It just makes the card look a lot better. And more people will buy a card when the chem style is already applied. Think about it when you're trying to buy somebody for your team. That's the sort of thing that you look for. So I'm looking into a bunch of these cards still. Joao Pedro, I picked up a couple under 270. He's got a lot of supply, but also a lot of demand. And his price didn't move like crazy yesterday. But man, that card just looks nuts. And I mean, I might have to take him for a spin because... That card just looks amazing. So I'm looking at Lewa as well because he's rare and he usually moves a lot. But I want under 400k. Trying to get a good price. So that's kind of what I'm doing right now on the market. Also watching Fodder a bit because I just think that with the SBC that is out, I picked up a couple of Harry Kanes on bid under 30k. I just, I, I can't see this Harry Kane going too much further under 30k. And I'm willing to start stocking some of these on my transfer list and waiting. That's the big thing as well. I have no problem buying these sitting on them and waiting for like a week or two or three and starting to fill up my transfer list until they explode in price. Hopefully those cards go into like 40,000, maybe even 50,000 coins for 90 rated. It's not unheard of in the first month and a half on the game with the SBCs that we get. So we'll see if that happens, but I'm starting to kind of stock up on a couple of those on my transfer list as well while still trading at the same time. And always, you can look for heroes. You can look for icons, stuff like that. That'd be great to look at today because those cards are rare 
and uh, they're in demand and people will buy those for their teams today as well. So that's an in-depth rundown of like a Monday market rise. And we'll be talking about it a lot on stream today. Just watch the market. It should do well. There are a lot of people investing for a rise today as well, specifically on these cards. So maybe the play would be to sell before the content drop. I don't think you would have to, um, but I think there's probably a lot of people that will be selling right before the content drop today just because they'll want to get out and be safe about it. So that's one thing to kind of keep in mind as well. Selling pre-content is the safest, especially for golds, because also if you think about the weekly trends recently, Mondays have been kind of the peak. And that's another reason why I'm probably going to sell this stuff today and just make it a quick flip is Mondays have been the kind of highest days on the market. Now, I'm wondering if that changes this week or not, but um, we'll see. I'm going to stick with the trends of what has happened the past two weeks and kind of just go from there. Uh, because after like Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, you guys remember the middle of the week last week, right? Everything was just freaking mudded on the market. So that's kind of the plan that I'm going to be sticking with today. Now, also for content, what are we getting? Like what's our SBC content? The last few Mondays have been very quiet, which has helped the market rise in the late Monday night. And you actually Monday night, early Tuesday morning has been kind of the ultimate peak for a lot of prices. The first two weeks of this game, I'm expecting upgrade packs today. And, and that's probably about it. Like the 78 plus that we had um, last week, I'm hoping that it comes back as a 78 plus double, right? Give us two players, EA, not just one, because the gold upgrades are honestly better than the 78 plus single. So give us a 78 plus double and we would be happy with that. The team of the league upgrade is still here for two days. And then of course, we've had other player SBCs that are leaked, right? The Brazilian players from Lyon that were in league one, the, that little duo is still leaked. I think Bergwijn, Hector Bellerin, and we don't know about Bacha. So I still think there's potential for a player SBC today as well. I don't think it's going to be a crazy day of content. Um, but with the player SBC situation, I think EA is going to drop a decent amount of SBCs this week, guys. Because on Thursday, as we mentioned earlier in the video, on Thursday, we have those preseason rewards from FIFA 23. That if you did those, like an 82 times 10, some other fodder packs, those are going to be available on Thursday according to EA's fine print text from the last year's game. And that's going to be a lot of fodder people will get. And of course, EA is going to want to have plenty of SBCs out and available that people could craft or at least start to even put that fodder into and then waste their coins, right? Of course, that's the way the EA is going to want to think, right? Put out SBC content, get people started on the Beckham so that when they do part of it, they have to go out and spend coins to do the rest and then buy FIFA points, FC points to get packs and blah, blah, blah. That's how it works, right? So... I could see more SBCs coming throughout the week this week, which is another reason why I really wanted to get invested on fodder on the weekend before all that stuff came out because it just, to me, it makes me feel like there's going to be more demand for SBCs throughout this next week with all of that in mind as well. So I'm not expecting a big day today. EA surprised me, but it's going to be a good day to be on the market and trading with some hopeful market rises this morning and good opportunities to make coins. We'll be trading on stream today. If you want to check that out, link is down below in the description. Thanks for watching the video today, guys. If you did enjoy, smash thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions, and of course, subscribe if you are new. It's been Nathan with Account. Catch you guys later. Peace. Out.